count all the yet. Go back to sleep. It's all right, Molly. Annie's here.
No, I don't think so. <laughs> Grace? Yes, sir. Messages? President Roosevelt wants you to call him at the White House, sir. I'll get back to the ball. Wait! I think I can learn to live with this thing. Hang it in my back. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Warbucks. All right, good to see you all again. Sure. Drake, it's Mrs. Stapp. Yes, sir. Now, Grace, you'll get your notebook. Who's that? This is Annie, sir. The orphan will be with us for Christmas. But that's not a boy. Orphans are boys. I'm sorry, sir. You just said orphan, so I chose a girl. Well, I suppose you'll have to do it. Annie, huh? Annie what? Oh, I'm just Annie, Mr. Warbuck, sir. I haven't gotten your last name. I'm sorry I'm not a boy. Not at all. Yeah. All right, Grace. We'll start with the figures on the iron ore shipments. Toledo to What are we supposed to do with this job? It is her first night here, sir. Well, Annie, I suppose we ought to do something special on your first night. Would you like to go to a movie? Gosh, Mr. Warbucks, I've never been to one. Great. Then we'll go to the Roxy, and then get ice cream soda at Rumble Myers, and a handsome cab ride around Central Park. Golly! Grace, forget about the temptation for tonight. Instead, you take Annie to the movie. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, gee. Something the matter? It's just that, well, I thought you were going to take me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm afraid I'm far too busy tonight. Ah, uh, gee. Now, Annie, I've just been away for six weeks. And when a man is running a multi billion dollar corporation. Oh, sure. I understand. That's okay, Mr. Warbuck. Great. Yes, sir. Get our cards. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, gee. Great. You'll come to it. Yes, sir. What are you be wanting, sir? The deuce is over. Wait. This is a child that cooped up in an orphanage all her life. We'll walk. Walk? To the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Yes, sir.
wonderful. About Annie. What about it? Can we keep her? You haven't seen that horrible orphanage. I can't bear to send her back there. Grace, let's come over here. I could take care of her. She wouldn't be bothered. You have plenty of room, and, and the stuff adores her, sir. Absolutely not. I'm a businessman. I only care about money, power, and capitalism. Well, I do not after. nor will I ever own a child. Annie, I was born into a very poor family, and both my parents died before I was ten. So I made a promise to myself that one day, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very rich. That was a good idea. But lately I've realized something. No matter how much money you've got, if you have no one to spend your life with, if you're alone, then you might as well be broke. I picked this up for you at Tiffany the other day. For me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Robux. Gee, thanks. It's a silver locket. I saw that old one you're wearing around your neck, and I said, you know what? I'm going to get that kid a new locket. So I'm just going to take this one off. No! I don't want a new one. Annie, what is it? This locket. My mom and dad left it when they left me at the orphanage. And I know, too. They're coming back for me. I know I'm real lucky being here with you for Christmas and all, but the one thing I want in all the world is to find my mother and father and to be like all the other kids, folks of my own. It, it'll be all right. I'll, I'll find it for you. Yeah, I'll find your parents for you. Shh, shh. Mr. Warwick will find your parents if he has to put everyone in his organization to the job. If he has to pull every political string there is to pull. Up to and including the White House. Andy, give me your luck. But... I understand. It could be your best clue. We'll have the FBI trace it to find out who bought it. Okay, and maybe they should have my note, too. You watch, Andy. In a couple of days, you might be meeting your mother and father for the first time. Really? Really. Oh boy, I gotta write a letter to the kids about this. That's 987 Fifth Avenue, New York. 
York, New York. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Bert Healy. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the makers of all new Oxidant Toothpaste with Miracle K64 to fight bad breath for letting me appear here this evening. Did I just do a damn commercial? Good night, Adam. So, Andy's parents, if you're listening in, there's $50,000 and a wonderful daughter waiting for you. So get in touch right away, you hear? Well, I see if I do a clock on the wall, then another one of our Thursday night get togethers is going by the and then we say hi. Yes, if you face those stars, make your teeth hot as a toy, and all the hours of my family, this is worth it. Right here, sir. 
Eddie, I want to adopt you. Adopt me? Yes or no? Well, if I can't have my real mother and father, there's no one in the world I'd rather have for a father than you, Mr. Warbucks. <laughs> this isn't just going to be an adoption. This is going to be a celebration. You can have anyone you want in the world to come to it. Who would you like? Well, I guess I'd like Miss Farrell here, and Mr. Drake, and Mrs. Pugh, and, well, everyone here. Drake? Yes, sir? Tell the staff to get spiffed up. They're going to be guests at Annie's party. Yes, sir. Oh, and the kids. It'll be way past the bedtime, but I'll tell you what. We'll have everyone from the orphanage here for the Christmas party. Miss Hannigan, too? Why not? Everyone is picked up for the party, sir. Ah, good. Chris? Yes, sir? Annie and I are going to get some up, too. I haven't had this. It's a very pretty bird. It's a very pretty dress, Chris. Thank you, sir. Have an effort from Annie into one of those new dresses and have to seal the something with her hair. And, oh, I don't know. Gussie your own. Yes, sir.
Would you mind if we kept Annie just until tomorrow morning, Christmas?
Yes, girls, for you and for perhaps all of us, this Christmas is going to be the start of a wonderful new life.